So the roosters started crowing, I think, five o'clock in the morning, long before sunrise. I was already up anyways, because I'm still on Atlantic Canada time. And when it's night here, it's daytime there. So, go to say I was awake at 3 o'clock this morning with nothing to do. So I decided to go for a walk up there in the pitch black. And then I turned around and went down, down the hill for a walk in the pitch black. Meanwhile, all kinds of noises in the thicket of the jungle here. I think it was things like coconut and different fruits probably falling out of the trees and landing on the ground. Who knows? And here's looking at her house street view. Don't ask me what the numbers on the wall are. Maybe it's the civic address, I don't know. That's our panda saw guy. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, see you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Okay. In the Philippines, it's a regular routine every morning to have panda sill and coffee, which I like to call first breakfast. Oh, now you're boiling hot. Is the water boiled? What? Is it already boiled? Yeah. Oh, good. Nice. Okay. Now, is it hot? Do we have to heat the water up? Last night. What I was really trying to ask my wife was if there was hot water for the coffee yet, because that's the first thing I have every morning. Time for coffee. What time is it? Oh, it's already quarter to seven. I was up really early this morning and had been working on a video. And I'm working on a video. And that video is likely already on my YouTube channel. After breakfast, we got ready and headed off to church. And it was a beautiful morning. I love driving down this road. Honey, you already look beautiful. No need to worry, you're just going to church. It's Sunday morning and we're in. Where are we? In Uso? Let's go! Are we in Uso? Yeah. We're in Uso, part of Suyu. And we're going to the church. And so is everybody else. Good morning! <laughs> I actually found a very nice parking place this morning. Feeling rather proud of myself. I can hear the church music playing. Okay, we've arrived at the church. There it is. Okay, we're going into the church. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. So we've been invited to have a tour of the new Roman Catholic Church in Soyu. Last time we were here in 2016, we attended the church here, and it was just a smaller church. And now they're constructing this, and it's absolutely beautiful and huge, very big, and we are about to step inside. Look at the ceiling. 
it has natural light through it. And the deity of Christ in the middle. Can we walk up on to the sanctuary? Can we walk? Okay. We're going to walk up onto the sanctuary. So, Christ on the crucifixion at the top, who died for the remission of sins for the world, for whoever should believe and put their faith in Christ shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3.16 Okay, this is what it looks like to stand up on the pulpit. Which for me is easy to do right now because I do not have an audience except two people in my camera. <laughs> have it be if there was an audience in this congregation right now, I think I would be stuttering and uh, becoming short of breath from nervousness. <laughs> so let's go have a look over here. They have the manger scene of Christ. <laughs> And there's my wife and son. Hey, dear. You taking pictures too? There we are. I'm holding my camera up beside her camera. Delicious. Can I have a taste of yours? Same. Yours is poppy, mine's not. Can I taste it? Mm. My wife got chocolate coffee. Mine's like an extra chocolate. They're both very tasty. What did you get, Laura Jane? Watermelon? Mochi. And mochi? Looks good. Mm. This ice cream was so good, I went and got a second one. <laughs> Actually, we all did. Now we're in the courtyards behind the church. And there's one of the big mountains. And this is a, I don't know, it's a courtyard. Lots of little places to sit. And come down by the river and relax. There's the river. The water is really low right now. Because I've been told that January is their dry season. This is just direct ants. This thing is really strange. <clears throat> Red ants. Whoa. I just sat there and there's red ants. I didn't get bit. Luckily, I got up quick. This, oh, uh, they're nasty. Look at them. On the side, and this uh, road. Go across the, the river. Yeah, I want to go see that. Yeah, let's go. It's just over there, isn't it? Yeah, but then the after. 
I don't know, you see that that is saying ended a nice shaded place and some are. We're gonna go just up the road a little bit. There's a uh, cement, it's like a cement dam bridge crossing going across the river. And we've been wanting to go uh, across it and see what it's like on the other side because it looks like a nice little, I don't know, it could be a resort or just a park. I wasn't quite ready to leave this little haven in the church courtyard just yet. I was content to stay a little longer. This hut here was uh, donated by Problashin. Where is Problashin? Problashin was Rowena. Is where? Rowena works. Where Rowena works? Oh, okay. Which is not far from here. <coughs> this is such a pleasant place to sit, I don't even want to get up. Daddy, do you want something? Let's go find if you can find chicken. We're getting a little hungry. My <laughs> wife is suggesting that we go find some no, chicken. No, Daddy must be hungry. It's just plenty. Yeah. I really don't want to move from this spot. Go. <laughs> but my wife is telling me to go. So we must go. Captain's orders. <laughs> We're going to head over there and see it. Let's go. Come on, Dally. Hiding behind me, Dally. Okay, it's Sunday morning, 10:30. And we finished church and we're in Usmo. Usmo? Uso. Uso. We're in Uso. Which is kind of like in the heart of Soyu. And we're going to go on that side. Well, we're looking for a little bridge up the road that takes us over to the other side of the river. So, let's get in the van and go see. Thank <laughs> you. 